What's up, HRV? I'm Miranda Hartley. And I'm Maria Lopez. Welcome to What's Up, our weekly show about what's going on at the high school. Hey, Maria, do you know how HRV gets its funding? No, I've never thought about it. Here's Sadie to give us some insight on our school's funding. Hi, my name is Sadie Smith, and I recently started to wonder, where does the money in our school come from? How is it decided to build places like the new A-Hall over renovating other spaces? To find out, I interviewed our superintendent, Mr. Polkinghorn, and our principal, Mrs. Jones. I found out that it was a lot more complicated than I originally thought, so I helped create this chart to hopefully help you visualize how money gets spent. The overall funding sources are at the top, federal, state, and so on, and then the arrows are different funding streams as they get more and more specific, all the way down to hiring teachers. This chart is color-coded with the two main types of funding that the school spends, general in red and special in blue, but that will all be explained. Hope you enjoy. The district budget is made up of two parts. The general funds and then the special funds, and those are the two big parts of our school budget. The general fund. Gets money from the state, um, which gets money from taxes collected from various entities and income taxes, and um, so it's all it's all funded through taxpayer dollars. Um, the funds that we use um, for staffing the schools that's that's the biggest piece of our budget, and then the rest is what we call discretionary funds. That, that then your principal has some has some discretion over how those get spent. Like, are we going to buy paper? Are we going to buy markers? How are we going to use these, these funds to support the students in the school so they can do the things that they want to do? The transportation, food services, all your extracurricular activities like sports and theater and like all of those are all paid for out of the general fund. Almost all, yeah. Special funds. And then there's, um, for lack of a better term, I'll call it special funds, which include um, grants from like federal grants or state grants or local grants. Um, there are um, capital, capital funds, so money that's set aside for projects like building new buildings or fixing roofs. Um, so those are capital, capital funds. Um, those are like the two, the two big big things within the special fund. The special funds are really, um, are, are special because they're, um, most of them are specifically designated for a, like a very specific purpose. Um, so we can't just use that money to pay for teachers. One of these specific purposes was the A-Hall, which was built with capital funds. That was funded through a bond that our school district went out and lobbied for it. But because there was savings associated, then we were able to deploy that project and that idea to build that way. One of the big goals was to try to create um, a connected CTE space. Before, you know, students had to go outside and be outside the building and be disconnected when they were going out to some of the CTE classes that were offered. And so this was a way of creating more of that um, inclusive approach with all classrooms within the building and really connect that to our facility. So that was, that was some of the work done there. If you want to learn more about this, you can watch the rest of this video on the Talon webpage. For more resources, the official budget is posted on the district website. If you would like to have a say in how the budget is decided, you can talk to the school board at a board meeting, or at a school level, you can talk to the principal or your teacher to advocate for different spending. Miranda, I have an important question for you. Can you spell banana in Spanish? I can try. P-L-N-A-T-A-N-O. Um, no, that's not right. Marita and Anna Ruby went around asking people if they could spell in Spanish. J U G Wait, what was it? <laughs> okay. Hipopotamo H I P O P O T A M O. So, nombre is right? L U M B, 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 R, I, y S. Okay, E, S, T, A, D, U, N, I, D, N, E, S. You guys ready? So, A, 
N A R A uh J A not the mother. Okay. E or something I don't even know. Okay. D E S A R O Y A R It's time for this day in history. This week, Santara tells us about a controversy involving the Beatles. Today, in 1966, John Lennon of the Beatles had said in an interview talking about the importance of religion, Christianity will go. It will vanish and shrink. We are more popular than Jesus. While this didn't cause a commotion in England, the comment about Jesus had caused an uproar boycotts in America. Many American disc jockeys boycotted the Beatles because of what he had said and destroyed Beatles paraphernalia. John Lennon a few years later stated, When they started burning our records, that was a real shock. I believe in God. I'm sorry I said it, really. From what I've read or from what I've observed, Christianity just seems to be shrinking, to be losing contact. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with the trailer of the spring play, The Theory of Relativity, which is playing this weekend and next. Come back next week and we'll tell you what's, what's up. up. <laughs> okay? That was so good. Thank that you. So I've had enough. I've finally had enough. Something took over me. I felt different. Free. I reached the theater, watched the play. I only watched half. An intermission I left. Not because the play was boring, but because it was the greatest play ever seen. I imagined all the people from the play. All these characters, I somehow knew. I knew these people. It suddenly occurred to me that if I had the power to invent the outcome of the people's lives in the play, then I should have the power to invent my own life. It began to occur to me that there were things that I wanted to change, things that matter most in my own play. We write our own narratives, and if there is something wrong with your narrative, you must change it. You must be strong enough to change it. And so, I've decided over the past few days that I am going to change my story. I am going to do the things that only I want to do, and I do not care what anyone else thinks. <laughs>